Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, let's do something different. Let's look at one project from OWASP, which is called the, the Juice Shop project. Now, if you look at their GitHub page, it is going to tell you that they are most likely the one of the most modern uh, web project uh, that is sophisticated and insecure that you can use for security trainings, awareness demos, capture the flag events, and as a guinea pig for security tools. Jushop encompasses vulnerabilities from the OWOSP top 10. So this is something that you should do some more research as well and make sure that you understand the top 10 vulnerabilities from 2017 and what's the latest one. Like the number one is now the broken access control so this application is you're going to use to train your developers now how do you install this application so again there are multiple different ways you can uh the the one that i always prefer is the docker installation it's the less of a headache for me for the most part and if i have an option to install it via docker i always prefer that so let's see if we have a uh, Docker installation guide. So now, yes, they do. You have you can use other type of uh, installation as well. This is just my preference. I also have Vagrant, and I can probably just run this one as well. But my first preference is always the Docker container. Now, for this, the only requirement that you gotta have the Docker install. So if I go back to my command prompt and just try to run docker and it's, you see that it's available to me so if you don't have docker you gotta figure out how to install that one uh, in a lot, lot of systems docker is automatically installed so there we go so install docker which i have already done so in this case all we need to do all i need to do is run the docker pool and that is going to download that image that we have from this docker repo so let's just go there um, and run this command we might need the sudo with this one we'll see and let's go back docker pool yeah it's asking that i need the sudo permissions so just add a sudo and now it's downloading the images see every single layer in a docker file it's it's getting downloaded so just give it a minute it shouldn't take too long but it will depend on your internet connectivity the speed that you have uh, looks like it's getting close to be done there we go so now i have the image uh, downloaded didn't take too long at all and once you have this you can just now run the docker okay looks like we'll be running this docker with the port 3000 inside and also outside 3000 so if you go to your local host and you connect to 3000 port it will go inside the docker container and the container will be running on port 3000 as well within the docker itself so you just take this command okay and what you have to do command and go back to your command prompt add a sudo in front of it and just uh, paste it oh. paste to clipboard okay so that's about it so that's what it's going to do since you already have this image downloaded it will run this application okay with this port so just run this and see what happens so it's still going well going well and it says hey server is uh, listening on port 3000 okay so at this time i think we are good to go so all you need to do is go to this guy okay okay you don't have to even copy just open up a browser and go to your local host and try to see what's there on port 3000 and there we go so we have it we have this application up and running and now you can use this application to do whatever you want for example uh, at this time, let's say you want to use InMap, okay? Okay, you can use InMap, okay? And then you can run localhost 3000 
don't know if we, in map will take the local host 3000 let's just try local host see what happened up uh, in map command is misspelled and in map mine need a sudo as well so it's saying my in map that port is open so once this port is open now you can use other tools like maybe now you can use the barb suite and attack the replication even you can use the owsp's uh, z attack proxy so this is running in your local machine so what you will do you can look for the tool called zap okay get this tool downloaded let's see if i have this tool available in my system already so zap looks like zap maybe there if it's not you just have to yeah it looks like it is so we'll try this real quick as well so this is one of the uh, the dash tool or dynamic application testing tool that's available so here uh, once you are here you can do let's say an automated scan and we can do the automated scan on <sighs> looks like i can't even type in here properly localhost 3000 and let's do valid url so looks like maybe try to add http and attack and now it is attacking that particular url right and notice that everything is still inside my networks so i'm not going out and if you notice over here at the bottom it is sending hundreds of requests to this particular web application at this time okay so what i have done i have installed the application in almost no time and i'm also using uh, an attack tool from owasp to attack that web application in a very very quick manner and it has not been even eight minutes and i'm able to attack that site configure the whole thing if i have the docker environment so again docker is my preferred way of running applications and uh, the the great thing if i don't want that environment i can quickly take that docker environment down and i'm done and uh, i'll let you guys spend some time with this particular uh, infrastructure that we build uh, just pay attention to the very bottom over here like the alerts you have the critical medium low and informational so if you if i want to click on this one okay or just click on the alerts over here it's going to tell me what are the problems that this tool has already found okay like content security policy cross domain misconfigurations cross domain javascript source inclusion timestamp disclosure and there are some information disclosure as well okay so there we go have fun with this tool uh, if i look at the interface one more time if i go back so that's the interface that we have uh, you can dismiss that uh, welcome message you can cross out these green boxes and then you can go through this uh, web application see how it is and then we can talk about how to attack this application i have already given you some hints how where to get started and there will be a whole bunch of problems that you can solve look at maybe cross site scripting and this application has pretty much all 10 major vulnerabilities that OWASP has identified as the OWASP top 10. So give it a try. See if you can bring up this environment and test your hacking skills. Good luck. Thank you.